Hey, Cam Nine for Five Zero Nine here, and now that I've closed the cheat mode that I was using for testing things, things that don't work, by the way, I am going to begin. Um, no, I don't. I'm going to begin this episode. So today's plan is I've be, I've had I've built this little house. Oh no, I built this little house. There's this village here, and because of one of the mods that added, one of the mods added by Feed the Beast. Um, it act, the village actually came with some apiar apiaries, which are where you breed bees. But this village is a ways from my home, and it's a real pain to fly around on my new electric jetpack. Given that my new electric jetpack costs power, still I really don't like walking. It's a really long walk, so I'm going to build a rail system. Now the thing about this pack is, one moment, let's make sure of this. Uh, where is it anyway? Um, <laughs> where's the standard rail? Is it called track? It's called track, okay. Um, oh, it's steel, I see. So, I'm using the, uh, one moment. The, I can't talk. The Railcraft mod is part of this pack. Well, the Railcraft mod is part of this pack. So, to make uh, rails, I need a Coke oven and a rolling machine. If we go to my base, you will notice that I already have a rolling machine. If I can never get to my base, which is actually quite a flight. Uh, why are we lagging so bad? You'll also notice that you are now in, able to be in 720p. Yay! That's because I made sure the window was the right size this time around. Making a landing. Not an easy landing, by the way. Um, oh yes, it is just being silly. My jetpack does that automatically. I've got hover mode on. Okay, lag. Seriously, got that out. Seriously, why am I lagging so much? Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make some quick settings changes. Video settings, normal. Hope that'll be enough. Yeah, it's enough. Okay, cool. Uh, not quite enough. Okay, I thought. As you can see, I have the rolling machine here. I have. Yeah, no. The other thing I need is the coke oven. Coke oven bricks are made like this, so I'll need five sand and. I'll need 26 bricks for the 3x3 oven. So I'll need 104 bricks and 125 plus 1 times 5, 130 sand. One minute. <laughs> I um, had to, uh, yeah, I had to. I had to talk to someone for a moment. Uh, lag. Lag, really? Really lag? We just had you sorted out. Yeah, let's... Uh, no, I don't want to change the difficulty. And yeah, I'm playing on easy because I'm not terribly good at Minecraft and because I'm just lazy like that. So just move down the uh, settings once again. Uh, do I have a shovel? I have a shovel somewhere. This is at least I have maintenance for a shovel. Let's go make a shovel. Let's go get a shovel. Let's go grab a shovel! Um, do I have any, uh, normal tools by any chance? Or wood or something? Which would be nice. I appear to have one stick. I should have three sticks, um, but I appear not to. Oh, I spent only... How about I have more planks anyway? Cool. And more sticks. Just making a shovel. And we'll use a ruby, even though rubies can be used to make something else even cooler. But I have lots of rubies, so I won't worry about it too much. Also, if you're wondering why I have a nearly broken ruby sword on me, what I've been using that ruby sword for so much, <laughs> that will hopefully be the topic of my next episode. The worst part about the cheat mode thing is I never actually turned on cheat mode, I just turned it on because I was testing something that I actually had. And just in case that I lost it somehow. Yeah. I'm like, turn on cheat mode to make sure they get to keep the item, because I'm, you know, doing an item test. And I'm too lazy to create a new world to get the item test in. That, and I don't think I can 
edit NEI data. Not NEI data. Um, edit. Uh, not NEI. What's the word? Um, for the data that's under the uh, data that you that isn't damage value data and isn't um, the other data. Same kind of thing used for enchantments. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't need to edit that with NEI, so whatever. Either way, I just needed to test out something. It doesn't work. But I'll show you what it is next time around. Get some clay. I want, what, how much light do we have left? Uh, I can't tell. That's actually a problem. You know? I think I have enough clay. I don't remember how many I said. I think I said 104, which would be, I think, correct. So I just need to grab myself 130 cobble. No, no, I, I, I'm not going to wait that long for the macerator. Actually, yeah, and I'll cut up. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get this from somewhere here. Yeah, so I'll even out these first so it doesn't look quite as stupid, and also so I have some sand. I believe I said I need 130. And unlike the clay balls. Haha, <laughs> he said balls! No, no, you're not allowed to do that. It's not funny. Well, you're allowed to do that, it just makes you stupid. This is not going to need use of the furnace. I actually need to use the furnace for a while, so I may. Yeah. Uh, are we losing daylight? I can't tell if we're losing daylight. I'll just rely on the mini map, you know. Also, I'm seriously considering turning off the mini map and just mapping my world. Yeah. So I know that I said I would do a scribble notes episode. I didn't wind up doing so because there's a lot of background noise in the episode I had recorded a while back, um, and it's you know people talking, so it's kind of hard to, yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of you know it's kind of hard to ignore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure out how. To, if anybody has any tips on how to remove background noise from videos, uh, I'd really appreciate it from audio recordings because I you know I have a lot of background noise in that one and it's really nasty. So that should be 130 sand. Now we're going to cut away for a minute. Uh, once we get in my house, okay. We're now going to cut away for a minute, and I'm going to show you what. I'm gonna, and then when I have all the rest of the ingredients together, I will cut back and build this while I need to do some work. And we're back. Did I not collect as much sand as I thought I did? I don't think I... And after being out of disk space, we are back. Um, we're gonna cut this episode pretty short because, well, disk space has decided it gets, gets cut pretty short. Screw you, disk space. Come on, I'm just gonna finish up this Coke oven. And hope I did my math right. certainly doesn't look that way. No, actually it certainly does look, look, that, way, that, look that way. I am not entirely sure how that worked, but that apparently worked. Oh, because there were four. Right, because there were five. Hmm. Huh. I thought I have the footage, because it didn't make any sense to me. Like, five times three is only fifteen. I, I need twenty, don't I? But apparently not. Oh, um, well, that... that could have been a dead giveaway, but, um, well, uh, yeah. So that's one of the things I plan on doing. Um, you're like, what is that? It, it's from the Soul Shards mod, and I'll get into more about it later. Um, I need to build a staircase here, but for now, this is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to take this torch, and by kick, I mean punch. I don't know. And set up my Coke oven. In the next ever, in the next ever, no, in the next episode, I will work on the thing I built this coke oven for. That is the beginning of a rail system. In particular, a rail system from my house to the village over there, and well, obviously back. That way, I don't have to walk it, and I don't have to use my precious electric jetpack, which would be nice. It'll make playing the game much easier, as you might have already figured out. A coke oven can do this, and produces some creosote oil, which is the thing I need from this. 
this and produce the creosote oil, which is, I can use rubber wood. But rubber wood takes two conversions. Oh well. This, this, yeah, okay. This, this, okay, yeah, you get it. Do I do anything else? No, I can't. Okay. And now I'm gonna figure out what a blast furnace takes, because I should actually be able to make a blast furnace if I try hard enough. I haven't, I certainly can, certainly have the ability to get access to the parts. I'm gonna begin working on a blast furnace um, between now and then. That way I have steel to finish up something else I'm working on. This, um, that, that's a different blast furnace. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm using two different blasts. I'm using one blast furnace to make the other blast furnace. Your head spinning yet? It should be. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the one last thing that I built since last time, this electrolyzer, which we'll talk about later. And this is a really important thing I built. Obviously, I have the apiaries over there. I'm now growing carrots here because I have a small pig farm. It's the ugliest thing in the whole building. But um, yeah, hello pigs. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, have a good day. And I just said that. Uh, okay. Um, see, uh, yeah. And, and and make sure you subscribe to my channel because my channel is awesome. Yeah. Lost my thing. I don't even know what I was doing here. I had a plan for this at one point, but I don't know what it was. All right.